Hey there everyone, this is Shivani with Go Engineer. I'm going to show you the benefits of using blocks in SolidWorks and all the tools that are provided in the blocks toolbar. I'll show a couple different ways to create and edit blocks and close with how to color in a block for use in a drawing template. Right now I've got my logo traced using the auto trace function from Sketch Picture. It was made using splines and they are all underdefined. By turning the sketch into a block, I can move this logo sketch, use the sketch in a different model, or scale the sketch. To activate the block toolbar, right click in the command manager and activate the blocks toolbar on the left side of the screen. The first icon is new block. Box selecting my sketch selects the lines and clicking OK creates the block. Once a block is created, its sketch lines turn gray. Dragging the block moves all of the entities together without the need to fully define the sketch. If I want to add our Go Engineer cube to the block I've already created, I can select Edit Block, the second icon in the toolbar. This makes the sketch blue again. Then clicking Add Remove brings back my original selection box where I can select new entities manually. Uh, box selecting will not work. Instead of selecting every new entity manually, we can add an entire block to the selection box. First, I'll need to create a block of the cube. So I'll use New Block and Box Select again. Then, once I've activated Add Remove, uh, I can use my Flyout Tree or Property Manager to select my block. I've now got my gray block and the blue sketch. Uh, I can exit the original block creation and everything will now move together. As a quick summary, we've seen how to create a block and edit a block. You can add or remove sketch entities from the block by first editing the sketch and then using Add Remove. Uh, now I want to reuse this block in other places, like other parts or drawing files. Um, I can do this using the Save Block icon. I'll place the block in my design library for easy access and then we'll be able to insert it anywhere we want. So I can navigate to the design library using the tab in my task manager. A drag and drop will create a new instance. Double clicking will open the original file. And open block, the third icon in the blocks toolbar, will also create a new instance. Um, as I dropped that second instance, the logo was hovering in a weird place over my cursor. I can change where this drops where this follows my cursor by moving the insertion point on the original block. I can also scale and rotate the block using the parameters drop down. Now we're almost done with all the icons in our block toolbar. Uh, the second to last is the explode block tool. This can turn a block back into its original sketch dimensions. Uh, to use it you just have to select the block, um, edit it first, and then use Explode Block. I won't save this because I want to be using this later. Uh, now I want to see how to use this block in my drawing template. After all this, I want to make it a logo in my sheet format, stick it in my title block. So the way I can edit a title block is by right-clicking and going to Sheet Format. I'll reinsert my logo. It's a bit large, so let me actually scale this down to a more reasonable size. And then I'll have to delete the original one that I clicked. Now the borders of the block that I inserted are fairly faint, and they're not going to show up very well in comparison to the text that's already on my page. Uh, so I'm going to fill them in uh, with some of the colors from my original logo. Um, I can do this by first editing the block, then going to the Annotations tab and selecting Area Hatch slash Fill. I'll choose the solid type, which defaults to black. And then Area to Hatch will allow me to pick enclosed areas. Boundary in the Box Select tool is the easiest. In my opinion, uh, I can write Box Select them and fill the entire letter. The Layer tool is how we can change the solid fill to a color besides black. Uh, please take a look at our videos on layers if you'd like to see this done. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Again, this is Shivani with Go Engineer, and thanks for watching.